Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're gonna to take a walk around an Iron Bull TLG. That's the Tilt Low Profile Gravity. This is the 102 by 22 foot model. This one's got the upgraded power tilt feature. And then it's also got a 102 wide deck with drive over fenders. Let's take a walk around this trailer. We'll show you all the standard features. And then we'll show you some of the options uh, that we've added into this particular unit. So we'll start out up front. This one's got the I-beam frame and the I-beam neck, uh, or I should say I-beam upright and horizontal. It's also got the integrated neck gusset. A couple of these features, Iron Bull's got their name in the uh, gusset itself. And then they've got the pinstriping on the neck, give it a nice look. They've got the underframe gusset where your chain holder is. It's got a sealed seven pin harness. It's got a standard seven pin blade plug typical on most trucks nowadays. Adjustable coupler. It's got your two set bolts. And then also it's got your spring loaded coupler that'll spring closed. Dual jacks on this are standard. Also notice they are bolt on for ease of replacement. If you haven't had a spring loaded 12K jack before, you simply pull the pin, it's gonna spring up in place. Uh, we like the neck gussets, they give extra strength to the trailer. Full width toolbox is nice. Couple neat features on the toolbox. They use a T-handle, a little bit nicer in a paddle lock. Then they also do a 110 volt charger built in. Interstate deep cycle marine battery with an inline circuit breaker. KTI pump, power up, power down hydraulics. It's got a fully sealed wire harness. It's got gas shocks both sides, which are a nice touch. A lot of uh, manufacturers skip the gas shocks in the toolboxes, makes it nice. It's also got the spare tire up in the neck. So this is a power tilt. This comes into power or gravity. Power adds a little bit of extra functionality. Notice this one's got the six inch channel bed and it's got the 16 inch on center, three inch structural channel cross members. It's got a six inch channel mainframe and then it's got a three by five angle iron under frame bridge for added support. Notice this unit, if we get down the sides, has torsion suspension. It's a basically a torsion equivalent to a drop axle. These are Dexter brand axles, 7,000 pounds. Notice also they do the tube outriggers here. Uh, tube gives a good bit of support. Lots of tie downs on this unit. It's got stake pockets, rub rail, pipe spools, and D-rings. So you got lots of places to tie down. Tread plate gives it a nice clean look, ties in with the tread plate drive over fenders. So we do add a winch plate to this. Uh, a lot of extra functionality on that winch plate. A lot of guys will mount a winch, use this as a wrecker rollback style unit. Not only does it have the neck gussets, but it's also got channel in the back of the neck that uh, tie together the neck itself. Some skip the, uh, the gussets up in the neck and just put a piece of channel or two in the back. Uh, this one here does both. So again, this does have the power upgrade. It's a 22 foot long deck. Now granted, some of that does not count the knife edge itself. Uh, this one here is a custom piece. It's got a 102 deck as mentioned. But generally speaking, the knife edge on this is about 32 inches to 34 inches. And they only count roughly the wooden deck part of this. So 22 is going to end up netting you some extra length. Normally you can figure you're going to get at least an extra foot out of the trailer itself. So again, these are drive over fenders. So when I say it's a 102, the tires are gonna come out to 102. Basically, instead of a traditional uh, 82, 81, 80 inch trailer, we're gonna bring the deck out to 102. A couple uh, piece of functionality to that. Uh, one would be instead of having a, a deck bed frame that's only gonna be 76 or so inches, uh, this one here, you, you, the whole thing's gonna tilt. So just like a power tilt deck over with fender boxes, uh, you get full loading width. So the benefit to this would be you still get a 102 deck, but on this you've got a deck height that's going to be in the low 20s instead of a deck height that's going to be in the low to mid 30s. So lower center of gravity on this particular unit. It does have a reverse knife edge uh, cut into the tail. Again, lots of tie downs to give you the rub rail, stake pockets, D-rings. This is a uh, two by eight pressure treated deck. So they powder coat this particular unit. As mentioned earlier, it's a Dexter axle, 7,000 pound torsion. 
Another little detail on these, they use a 9 16th stud, not a half inch as you typically see. A little bit of excess built into the hub area. Radial tire, 235 80 R16, it's a 10 ply, load range E. Put some extra supports on the, uh, the fender. Box them in at the end, your lights all protected, sealed. Really neat setup on this, these guys did a great job. Again, 16 on center uh, floor, structural channel. Did a nice job with the winch plate, just come right up past the floor. Now on these you can put a separate battery on the deck or we can also run a uh, two gauge cable coming back to bed frame and up to the toolbox on these. Which reflector tape going down the sides. You can get this with an 8K axle. Uh, we've done the 7K here, which is by far and away more common. There are a few different lengths you can get on this. Now traditionally this would be a plus six, so a 16 plus six. But being a power tilt, we've got a full 22 plus foot deck on this. Something like this is gonna weigh in in the uh, mid fours. You're gonna have about 10,000 pound of payload left plus your tongue weight. Tongue weight's gonna kick off about 22% to the goose. It's gonna give you another, give or take 3,000 pounds. So your max legal payload on this with tongue weight, probably gonna put you in the low 12s till you balance out your, your weight on your axles and whatnot. This is available as well on a bumper pull. We've got a bumper pull currently in stock in a uh, 20 footer. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.